Hello everyone, and welcome back to Tears of the Kingdom. Uh, we were just doing some exploring for the last couple of episodes, and I wanted to unlock the shrine here in Kakariko Village, just uh, so we can have the teleport point, so we can teleport here when we're ready, but also just so that, you know, once I activate it, I don't have an undone shrine on my map. So, um... Ooh, yeah, there's a chasm entrance right there, too. Or I guess it's just a chasm. It's it's a depths entrance. But the chasms, I guess, refer to the actual holes in the ground. An upright device. Okay. Mm ah, so we're using stabilizers. Oh, I get you. Sick. Oh, come on. Okay. How does this help me? if I gotta like like it won't uh, ooh, oh okay alright we're fine it won't give me enough lift without like another uh, another part attached to it like I need more length well guess that was it Guess while I'm here in Kakariko, I ought to turn in my blessings of light. Lights of blessings, excuse me. Good. Got a statue still here. Still got its little bib, too. Adorable. Uh, heart container, please. Thank you. Okay. Um, alright, so... Uh, the other thing... I, I wanted to get started on finding some geoglyphs. And it looks like the next one in the sequence is in... Yeah, like, it's to the northeast of the Crenel Hills. So, I guess let's head there. Figure while I'm uh, while I'm traveling, I might as well open up these waypoints, and we can teleport to them later. I am pretty sure that um, like loading screens get rid of your Zoni devices, so I expect that once we get to the uh, the geoglyph and activate it, then it'll load up a new scene, and in the process, it'll delete my little hover bike here. Uh, so, if I just open up the teleport points, then I can quickly get back to these shrines once we do the geoglyphs. Without, of course, having to spend additional resources to make a new hover bike. Oh! Sorry. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, I guess at least I got some meat out of it. Dang. Did not plan that at all. Uh, 
Ah, uh, fine. I was gonna ignore him, but then I'd feel bad. Hello, where's your friend? Hmm, in the opposite direction I'm going. Unfortunate. That's okay, though. It'll only take me a couple of minutes. Oh, and I I found out that uh, their backpack is actually something that you can create with auto-build. Which is interesting. I, I wonder, like, maybe you could use that as a sort of ballast? But if that's what you're looking to do, I imagine there are things that work much better that are less awkwardly shaped. But still, I don't know. I just thought it was kind of funny that uh, their backpacks are something that you can make with auto build. Hello. Thanks for being my friend. Yeah, happy to help. Goodbye. Oh, good. I thought it. I thought even that was enough to delete my uh, my hover bike, but nope. Um, let's see how close is that to where we're going? It's actually not far. Let's go ahead and get that tower too. It's really nice to just sort of uh, putter around. On a little hover bike, especially since like they just they went, they made the landscape just so gorgeous. It's nice to go sightseeing a little bit. Nice little front wheelie landing there, I guess. Let's go to the tower first, uh, because I think. Both the tower and my, or excuse me, that both the tower and the geoglyph will delete my hover bike. But if I start with the tower, then I will already be in the air and I could just glide over the geoglyph. So it'll be a little easier, hopefully. And then I don't remember where the next geoglyph in the sequence was. So I guess I'll I'll make a quick trip back to the forgotten temple, and uh, get a new like get a picture of that. And then we'll just go in order. Also, this tree it looks suspiciously Korok-ish. And as much as rain sucks to climb in, I I really like rain. Like, in real life. Uh, and I like it in Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom as well. It's, it's just very beautiful. It's, but, um... Okay, so I guess it's not up there, but there is a little offering here. There we go. Hmm. Elden Canyon Skyview Tower. What a bother. Fancy seeing you here again. Hello, hello. Have we met before? Sorry, everything around here is a bit of a mess. Were, were you the one that helped me with the Gerudo Tower? I don't remember. Uh, anyway, a mess? A big chunk of old ruins fell from the sky and hit the Skyview Tower. Ah. Is it that one? Yeah. Uh, it knocked off the lid that covers the hole at the top of the tower. Is that important? It means the hole at the top is open, and that's not all. After the impact, the door got stuck, too. Oh. Let me see. If you use the terminal inside, that would force the door back open. But without any way to get inside? Okay, great. Uh, well, I guess I know how to fix this problem, then. Because I'm pretty sure I'm going to lose the hover bike when I do the the Skyview Tower cutscene anyway, I'm uh, not too worried about whether or not I actually get this in a good spot. So is it normally bad for this to be open? Like is that top really necessary? But. Uh, whatever. We got it. Uh, oh, I was right. Using the terminal did open the door. Thank you. That was a big help. Now then, I think I'll take a little break before heading to my next job. Alright. Have fun. I'm gonna do the thing. Surface 
map updated. Oh, that's interesting. I guess Death Mountain itself has become a chasm. So it's no longer got lava in the caldera, I assume. Hello. Alright. Um, alright, well this will carry me, carry me up there. So I guess I might as well do this, because I can just teleport back to the tower when I'm ready to go to the geoglyph. Hello. Don't, uh, don't want to fight. I'm just gonna leave. Hmm. Well, there does seem to be a lot of, uh, a lot of stuff protecting this island. Hmm. What do? Guess I gotta, yeah. Great! Mystery all. What do accomplished? Sweet! I was hoping that's what that was. It's either that or uh, my next guess would have been an old map. Gotten a few of those and the last time that I found an island that looked kind of like this, uh, it, it had an old map in it. So I kind of thought that's what it would be, but I hoped that it would be a uh, Sage's Will. Um, yeah, before I do that though, Stam stuff. That's only the second pine cone I've found, which seems kind of ridiculous to me. I would have thought something like that would have been more common. But then again, I have been kind of more in either in underground spaces or in like open plains sort of environments. Um, okay, well, this appears to be nothing. There's another rail though. Well, there's a shrine there, so that's good. Another man cannon, excellent. I don't know what these things are, should actually be called, but I like calling them a man cannon. <laughs> ah. Might as well uh, finish this island up. And there's another one of the little star islands. I guess while we're here, we might as well check that out, and then we'll just... When we find a pedestal that we can't read, I'm sure... Water makes a way. Okay. Copy that. Uh, then, when we find that pedestal that we can't read, then we'll go back down to the surface and uh, get the... Whatcha who's it's Geoglyph. close. I don't know how long those will last, but I haven't seen any indication that they'll uh, they'll actually break after a while, but I'm sure it'll be like after some very long period of time. Hmm. I think that'll probably be enough that I can... Uh, Actually, it might be too long. Nope! There we go. Alright, great. So, let's now... Finagle this. Oh, boy. I think that'll work. Yeah, it's fine. Let's see if we can find where that, uh, that little star island is. I think it's a little to the right of where I'm aiming right now. Oh, there it is. Uh, I don't remember if I actually said it in an episode, uh, but I did allude to, allude to it before, where I, I actually landed on one of these islands 
and found nothing but a pedestal that I couldn't read. So that's what I expect to find here. It's etched with an ancient Hy Hyrulean text. You cannot read it. Uh, yep. Alright, great. Uh, off to the geoglyph then. Alright, where is the tear shape? Oh, there it is. Wibbly, I like it. It is quite an interesting device. This is definitely not from this era. That said, I believe there may be a way to get the travel functionality working here. I'd like to tinker with it a bit. Would it be okay if I borrow it? Yes, whatever you need. I really appreciate your help. Then I'll hold on to it. So you really believe my story? That I came from the future? I never doubted you for a moment. Minoru, do you know of a way we could help to return Zelda back to her time? Minoru, huh? I suspect it was the power of your secret stone that allowed you to travel through time. To put it simply, secret stones amplify the power their owners possess. Did she have a secret stone when she teleported? From my body. I don't know, I guess I don't remember the opening cutscene well enough. Or destroy evil with his power of light. And Sonia, she can control time. So I guess the stones are uh, specialized. But your secret stone seems to amplify your time power. Time power? And only the time power, Ultimately, huh? the secret stone only amplifies your power. It doesn't suddenly grant you mastery and control. That's still up to you. That means, if you don't already know how to get yourself home... <sighs> Right. There are stories about the secret stones and a forbidden act called draconification. To swallow a secret stone is to become an immortal dragon, one blessed with eternal life. <gasps> Interesting. Another way to reach the future, though not a very quick one. So you think these stories could hint at a solution to our dilemma? She'd have to be waiting for yes. tens of thousands of years. But there is still more to those tales. To become an immortal dragon is to lose oneself. That is why it is forbidden. I thought maybe this could lead to a solution. Some way to transcend time. But if you have to sacrifice your heart and mind, sacrifice what makes you, you. I'm sorry. I wish I could help more. Hmm. Back where we started. There's still hope. I think the answer, the answer to this problem lies in study and learning more about the nature of your power. I'm sure Sonya would be happy to help you. Yeah, I guess we did just kind of gloss over the fact that Sonya can apparently control time. There's a... There's something interesting there about becoming an immortal dragon at the cost of who you are. I suppose, uh, you know, what's the point at that point? Although... Um... All right. Uh, so, I, okay, that was Minoru. We learned her name was Minoru. Uh, quite certainly, that's going to be Rauru's sister. Uh, um, sorry. Uh, so yeah, that was almost certainly Rauru's sister, just by the fact that she doesn't really look like anything other than a Zonai. Um, 
and I, I guess okay so I kind of wanted to not say it just so that I could kind of you know reveal it later but while I was exploring I did have a brief encounter with something called the Dragon of Light uh, it was not one of the three dragons of which we saw uh, in Breath of the Wild. It wasn't Farosh Nadra or Dinral. Uh, and in fact, it didn't have a name. It was just called the Dragon of Light. Uh, when I, I tried to take a picture of it. So, that is interesting, to be sure. Because... It almost sounds to me like it is possible that Zelda actually did swallow the secret stone and become the Dragon of Light. And then, you know, survive to the current day and now we have to figure out how to get her back. Or uh, someone did. It could also have been Sonya, theoretically. Uh, but that much is left a little unclear. Um, okay. So... I noticed we were missing a memory. I don't, I don't really know what to do about that. Because it seemed to be before the opening cutscene. Just curious. Unless I was misinterpreting what I was seeing. That's, that's an interesting one. That definitely appears to be like Ganon. Like not even Ganondorf, but Ganon, beast form. So that's interesting. Um, okay, so, like, this, this Sheikah Slate one, which confirms it is, the, in fact, the Sheikah Slate, um, that one, oops, sorry, wrong menu, that one is number five here, memory five, but, uh, it's three in the, the order here, and this one, is like the opening cutscene, right? Where we found Ganondorf. And so, like, this one is memory number three, and then four or five. So maybe they are in order, but there's one cutscene that's, like, before the first one? I don't know. Mysteries abound. Again, uh, I guess the next thing to do is to find this thing. That looks like it could be some kind of weapon. Like, maybe that's, like, a laser cannon? I don't know. Let's see if we can find it. Ah. Okay, uh, that's actually not far away from our, our shrines here. I think it's like on this little section here. Yeah, because this is the Dueling Peaks right here. So, yeah. All right, great. We have an objective. Let's go. Yeah, so this is either a weapon or a beast or maybe both because it's got teeth. Definitely teeth I'm seeing right there. Uh, but the tail definitely makes me think it's like, you know, some kind of laser cannon. But that could me that could be me just like, you know, projecting sci-fi tropes onto it. Also, is that Bokoblin dead? I bet he's just sleeping. Bokoblin, sorry. Yeah, now he's sleeping. Oh, great! Didn't even see it. Just happened to land right next to it. Uh, and then I think after this uh, cutscene, we'll probably call it an episode. We'll we'll continue exploring on the next one. Hyrule will bow down before me.
Ah, it's a Maduga. A lot of them, in fact. It's a swarm. There are so many of them. But why would they? So, are their secret stones the same one, then? So, so brute force will not be enough. Uh, yeah. About that. Secret stone of the Zonai. <laughs> How interesting. That's interesting, but isn't brute force like his thing? Also, like, goodness gracious, what could he have lost to if that's the sort of thing he's capable of? I guess by the point they had their confrontation with Ganondorf, then they, uh, like, he, he got quite a power boost, it would seem. Uh, but, yeah, I guess we'll have to find out more on the next episode. I plan, like, there, some of the secret stones were, um, like, or not the secret stones, but the, um, like the little geoglyphs. They're like behind Zora's domain and places like that. So those might wait till later, but I, I, we can at least get a couple of more. Um, so yeah, I guess I'll make these the secret stone episodes because I, I want to find out more. I'm I'm very curious as to how this will play out. Um, so yeah, I guess on the next episode, uh, we'll make our way towards the the other. Uh, geoglyphs that are scattered around and uh, yeah I'm looking forward to it I'm, I'm quite interested to see how this how this all goes down but it will have to wait until the next episode so until then see you later